Hey Aries, this is Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly love reading. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Let's see what God, angels, and universe has for you. Ooh, ooh Ace of Swords. Somebody got something to say. Clarity. Clarity of thought. Clarity of mind. Clarity in communication. Um, for some reason, I'm hearing come to Jesus. Right? So I kind of, yeah, you've been waiting on this communication, buddy. Oh, boy. Communication from some, okay, this is six-card reading. I guess that's what we're doing. Aries. Mm-hmm. Love and commitment. Look at that. Look at that, Aries. Push everybody down so you can see everybody in frame. Right? And then the card at the bottom is the star card. Card. Something you've been hoping, wishing, and wanting for a long time. And it's showing up, by the way. Maybe this is you, right? The soulmate, uh, excuse me, the Ace of Swords. You, you know, kind of saying that prayer, making that wish, right? Um, you being honest about what it is that you want. You committing to it. You know, understanding what's what has gone wrong in previous relationships. And then you saying, you know what, I now know what the problem is. So I'm going to go ahead and do my part. I'm going to open myself up. I'm okay if I meet someone. You know, I want to be in love. I fall. I want to fall in love. Maybe this is you kind of making a commitment, an open commitment to basically say, okay, it's I'm ready. It's okay. It's time. Nice, that one just popped right out. And yeah, somebody's asking for a commitment. Wow, card at the bottom is the Six of Wands. Okay, which is the card of harmony and success. Okay, triumph, victory. You're tired of being short-handed, you know, coming up short. Um, feeling left out, feeling abandoned, feeling maybe lonely and alone. And I kind of feel like you communicated to God, angels, universe, maybe a person, maybe somebody you just met. You're like, look, you know, I've been single for all this time. I would like to find somebody who I can spend some time with, you know, somebody who's very compatible with me, somebody who's easygoing, somebody who's loving. You know, I just kind of feel like this is you, you know, with this list of things that you want, need and desire. Right. And also at the same time, I feel like this list is coming from all of the relationships, experiences, or situations that you were in previously that fell short. So this is like a wish list, again, of what it is you want, need, and desire. And I'm also feeling too, um, Aries, that this is coming from your soul. Right. This is coming from your root chakra, you know, the very deep, deepest parts of your soul and your existence, which definitely makes sense as far as why the judgment card is here with um, the Empress. This is Mars and Venus. Right. These are the eternal lovers. So this is you kind of saying, OK, enough is enough. If I have to make changes within myself, then that is something that I'm going to do. I'm committed. I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm being courageous. And I'm just going to, you know, kind of, you know, I'm understanding, say, for instance, what I want and need in my life, what it is that's going to make me happy. So let me go ahead and start nurturing that, right? Nurturing that and, and doing my part to get that. This really, I feel like, is definitely a commitment from you, Aries, to actually give love a fair shot okay and when you launch that right um, wish prayer whatever you want to call it the universe responds almost immediately you know you receive messages of love for somebody who is a possible mate you know that person that you asked for that compatible loving understanding chill person that you ask for almost shows up immediately you know, you have the page of cups, which is the messenger of love. You know, the cups are love and emotions. So this is somebody, you know, coming with the ace of cups to say, hey, Aries, you know, you want a sip of what's in my cup? 
you know, and I just feel like it feels right, you know, and, you know, it feels reciprocated. It feels balanced, right? Because then you're saying, yeah, sure. Would you also like what's in my cup as well? It's a beautiful give and take. It's a beautiful dance of love bet between the two of you. What I also have to say is what I'm getting um, intuitively is that it may not necessarily be love per se, but it'll be a language that you both speak. You know, these are the eternal lovers, Mars and Venus. You know, they chase each other uh, in the night sky. You know, definitely when Venus and Mars align, it's supposed to be like this very romantic, very loving, very mystical thing, you know, of masculine and feminine energy. And I just kind of feel like Aries, you know, definitely you are the masculine being ruled by Mars, right? And you're now, say, for instance, open to looking for your Venus, you know? So I just kind of feel like, again, you know, some of you are really taking this seriously, you know, whether it's, again, just a conversation to yourself or um, a commitment within, a commitment, you know, personally to go and to open yourself up to love. Here you have the Page of Cups again, okay? So this to me is also saying too, not only are you going to be open to messages of love, but that you will deliver a couple of messages of love yourself. Definitely here with the Seven of Cups, you know, this is the Cups of many options. In Aries, you could have a couple of options, right? But the tricky thing about this card as well is sometimes too many options is a bad thing. You know, so I would say definitely for this placement here, this would be God, Angels, and Universe kind of warning you to say, hey, be careful of what, you know, whose cup you're trying to fill. You're not going to be able to fill everybody's cup. You're not going to be able to please everybody, right? And not only that, but, you know, you could run into some people who may want you for sex, you know, who are attracted to you, who may want lust from you versus love, right? Um, one night stands are still a thing, okay? And that could, by the way, leave you disappointed. You know, maybe if you're a female, like, guys just wanting you for your body or guys just wanting to sleep with you or guys just wanting to have sex with you. I'm also feeling, too, um, for my female Aries, this is these are your past, past and previous relationships, right? These were the relationships that kind of left you felt left you feeling shortchanged. These were the ones who they didn't even try to pretend like they were coming in for something else. You know what I mean? They're you're you're highly attractive, okay? And they were just kind of quote unquote blinded by your beauty, but unfortunately they left you disappointed. You know, you have the three cups, of course, in front that are turned over that nothing can make it inside of them. You know, of course, you have those two in the back that says, hey, keep going. That person is still out there. That person does exist. But, you know, right now, maybe a lot of you are focusing maybe too much on your past and what happened negatively in the past, you know, which again, like I said at the beginning of the reading, could have been the very nature of this want, need, and or desire, okay? So be careful again about, number one, spreading yourself thin emotionally, you know, kind of giving yourself away freely, okay? And now that you are taking care of yourself because you've been disappointed about maybe giving yourself away freely, as in not doing the due diligence of getting to know somebody, to learn somebody, to see you know, letting enough time pass to see if they wanted you for sex or if they wanted you for something else. Okay. So yes, be careful about who you're giving what's in your cup away, who you're giving that stuff to. But then also at the same time, now that you're paying attention to it, you know, you need to be able, you need to be very discerning about what's love versus attraction. What's love versus lust, right? And this is perfect, right? We have Taurus here with, you know, the um, earth signs, which is the page of pentacles, right? The earth signs of Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus, okay? So this is basically you guys, you know, um, learning and understanding 
what that quality is. Learning and understanding, hey, is this what I asked for or is this that bullshit again, right? And I kind of feel like, again, once you start to turn down, you know, those sexual advances or those one-nighters or whatever have you, universe will start bringing you in more quality, right? And the quality that's coming in is definitely something that is more substantial, is something that's more trustworthy, is something that's more traditional and right up your alley. <clears throat> this card is ruled by Taurus, the Hierophant. And Taurus is, you know, one of those signs that, you know, they have like tremendous staying power. Okay. So I do kind of feel, you know, it's hard to get a Taurus to leave. Okay. So for you, Aries, it's almost like the universe is going to, again, start granting your wish. We have here with the star card and then also the six of wands. So this is the universe coming in and says, okay, your wish is fulfilled. Your wish is whatever it is that you desired you're moving successfully towards it. So this to me, again, Aries is basically saying, whatever it was that you committed to back here, right? Whatever it was that you first asked for based on what you had it had or had not been getting, whatever that was that you committed to and you're like, look, I'll do my part. Universe is gonna bring it to you. I don't wanna pick those up because y'all know I'll keep reading. So it's almost like the universe will bring those to you, um, your wish, your hope, your desire. Stay hopeful, stay faithful, stay open, and it'll come. Now, also at the same time, you guys know the Six of Wands comes away from the Five of Wands. He progresses away from the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is conflict, controversy, you know, competition. So yeah, you've had it rough, but Aries, you got to keep going, okay? Don't let, say, for instance, this person come in and distract you right and kind of get you down and out and disappoint you to the point where you may miss an opportunity for your page of pentacles because it's right there okay so i would say to you definitely aries be very careful about what looks like a duck and what quacks like a duck because it could be very similar to what you guys have already experienced that disappointed you in the past okay not only uh, you know about it being similar but it can also keep you from your victory and keep you from your hope, your dreams and desires and kind of block you from your committed relationship if that's what you so desire. Okay, so now we're going to look at the Romance Angel cards to see what we got. Hey, <laughs> sorry, y'all heard that come out of me. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Okay, release that old behavior, those old patterns. Because they just, yeah, you got two fives here. You just come up short. You come up short emotionally and you come up short practically. You know what I mean? So be careful about, you know, the wolves in sheep's clothing, right? They're coming in to distract you and to keep you from what you really need, want, and desire. Okay? Next card. Soulmate. Yay! Yes, this is your soulmate. So that next person coming in for you... Uh, Aries could be your soulmate. This two of cups right here, that absolutely could be your soulmate. Not only that, but again, there is reciprocity, right? There is the reciprocity of giving love to each other, okay? You just have to make sure that when they're giving it to you, you give it back to them and don't give it away to someone else or don't give it to them and four other people or them and three other people, and those other people don't have to be romantic interests. It could be you spreading yourself thin because you help your mama out or you help your cousin and your auntie. Like, be careful about those people who are draining you emotionally. Last card. This could be the one. You've already met uh, the romantic partner you seek. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? That just basically says that whoever this is, who's coming in that you're sharing messages of love with and they're sharing messages of love with you as well. This could be your person. This could be the one. Okay. So be careful again about, yeah, your cups being spilt over and you not having anything to give. And like I said before about you giving stuff away to people who don't deserve it. Okay. And the card at the bottom is you deserve love. You're lovable. 
okay? So Aries, thank you so much for stopping by. If this does resonate, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks. Love you. Bye.